What is something widely tolerated by society that bothers you a lot? Sex outside of marriage and with multiple people. I'm not judging I just would never do it outside of marriage, I would only do it with that one person and think it's disgusting outside of marriage. All I can think of is all the diseases out there that can get transmitted. I never could understand how someone could be intimate with more than one person. No hate guys just answering the question plus, I'm a born again Christian, so I know it's wrong, but people have free will to do whatever they want. Here in Japan, the lane closest to the sidewalk is supposed to be a normal road. Note this is where people fn stop whenever they want. Put four ways on and just chill. Or get out. Or just park their crap. It's super annoying. I hate it so much. But it's just part of the culture here. And I want to punch them in the face. But most Japanese people are small. And I'd probably break them with one hit. The constant need to be busy. Or the glorification of being busy really gets to me. It seems like society values people more if they're always on the go. Sacrificing sleep and personal time for work or other commitments. This hustle culture often leads to burnout and overlooks the importance of rest and leisure. The acceptance of rudeness and aggression online is something that bothers me a lot. Like the anonymity of the internet gives people the license to say things they'd never say in person, leading to a culture of trolling and cyberbullying that's just shrug off as part of being online. I'm really troubled by the amount of personal information people are willing to share online, especially on social media platforms. There's this acceptance of giving up privacy for convenience or connection, but the long-term implications for personal privacy and security are concerning. I'm bothered by how society tolerates and even expects the invasion of celebrities' privacy. The paparazzi culture and gossip magazines thrive on revealing intimate details of public figures' lives, which seems like a clear violation of privacy, yet it's consumed as entertainment. The throwaway culture, especially regarding technology and fashion, is something that really gets to me. The idea that items are designed to be disposable and that it's normal to constantly replace them contributes to environmental destruction and the devaluation of craftsmanship. It's alarming how normalized extensive work hours have become, with the expectation in many industries that you should work well beyond a standard 40-hour week. This not only harms work-life balance, but also perpetuates the idea that your worth is tied to your productivity. It disturbs me how normalized and widely accepted junk food and unhealthy eating habits have become. Fast food, sugary drinks, and processed snacks are staples in many diets, driven by convenience and aggressive marketing, despite the clear health risks they pose. It frustrates me how society still tolerates poor mental health support, despite increasing awareness. Accessing quality mental health care remains a challenge for many, and a stigma around seeking help or taking medication for mental health issues persists. Obesity, there. I said it. It's not cool. It's not fun. It's not healthy. Let's stop making it a taboo subject. It's a bigger problem than the pandemic ever was. But no one wants to talk about it because for some reason it's too sensitive a subject. That somehow everyone's an expert on relationships and gender studies. <sighs> Who TF gave these dudes a mic? And more importantly, what bumblefuck town are you from where you believe what's being said is intelligent or insightful? People treating facts as opinions. If something is a proven fact, you're not really disagreeing. You're lying about something that is a proven fact and are completely unwilling to accept reality. Supporting obese or unhealthy people and labelling your body shamer for calling them out. Like, I don't care if that's your choice, but don't force people to support your poor health choices. Infant circumcisions. How the fuck do we let other people decide what some other person's dick is gonna look like? My body my choice should apply to everyone. Minimal, but swearing excessively in front of your kids. If it's a one-off thing I'm sure it's fine. And I mean just calm down a bit with the cunts and fucks. Letting PPL spew ignorant and crazy ideologies with validation from others. We're moving forward as humans, but also backsliding at the same time. Fanboyism for random companies. 
People celebrate quarterly earnings of companies whose product they like, as if their team won the championship. Phones everywhere. Dot, 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 people taking selfies, walking with their heads down, and you have to get out of their way. Recording every event, etc. To be rating of people. I get it. They get attacked, have no sense, and are self entitled. That doesn't give them the right, does it? Women being cancelled for having opinions. Men may be getting cancelled for rape, abuse or assault, trafficking, the list goes on. The sheer amount of honestly paedophilic relationships that are out there. If they are 18, they are barely an adult. Back off. Child abuse, many adults don't want to hear it and don't want to see it. So they look away while a child suffers. The rat race in general. How our stupid economy relies upon and pressures you to work, marry, and having children. Excessive reliance on alcohol as a social lubricant in all aspects of society in my country. Hypocrisy. Bitching about people behind their backs yet laughing lovingly to their faces. Exorbitant insurance, medical costs, hand in hand with Christian church tax avoidance. Texting while driving. It's like playing Russian roulette with other people's lives. Mildly abusive behavior at work. Hey, how so many people try to rationalize it. Paying taxes on items you already own. X vehicle, boat, motorcycle, etc. How much stuff is packaged in disposable plastic that will outlive us all. The way people treat their children like they are inferior to them. Drinking. So many bad things stem from the consumption of alcohol. Drinking alcohol as an almost inherent part of socializing. How the rich and popular get way less harsher punishments. How people who assault children get a slap on the wrist. High fructose corn syrup in absolutely everything.